All right, thank you for tuning in to another Puka Games and Collectibles box break. Uh, today is the first time I'm actually going to open up a box on release day. Uh, the Upper Deck Ice is one of my favorite boxes. Um, I've gotten it a few times. <clears throat> one thing I'm doing different as well is that I'm, I've done no research into the product. Um, essentially, I, I just ordered the pre-ordered it and uh, just kind of get the, the raw um, opinions on it right off the gate it's a much smaller box than the previous two years um, i find it very odd they went back uh, to carry price on the cover uh, being a sabers fan i don't know why you would downgrade back to carry price uh, but either way um, it does look like uh, from the previous year went from four cards to six packs uh, to five cards and six packs um, <clears throat> so it went up a little bit last year i didn't really like the looks uh, design as much. I literally haven't seen anything of this product yet, um, so that way when I open it up, it's literally a surprise to me. Um, so let's kick in. I do see it's five cards. Um, and we'll see if it's still uh, six packs, as that was the trend the previous two years. Um, let's take a look here. I just couldn't see very easily. Um, it's five packs, so it is one less pack. Uh, 25 cards total. Um, looks like we'll still get one hard signed autographed and one memorabilia or exquisite. So that doesn't seem too far off, at least. Um, we'll see how, you know, what, what the cards look like and what the hits are look like uh, initially with this product. Um, so let's see here. Just a bunch of packs in the middle. I guess they're trying to save some money on packaging. All right. I'll get this set back up. Not not the usual box that, that stands up, just a little box there. But either way, let's uh, kick in and see what this product looks like. All right, right out of the gate, they kind of went back to uh, last year. I do like the, the coloring a little bit more. Um, you know, I, I really liked when it was clear. I, I liked having that, uh, that clear background, but um, I do like this more than last year's. Um, I mean, the backs are still pretty basic. Uh, this must be uh, one of the parallels. Uh, it is a different color. And as you can tell, we already got our, our first hit. Eric Braunstrom, um, white um, ice premiere. So it's a rookie, just a white jersey patch. Um, let's see here. It's worn by the feature player, so not guaranteed to be um, game worn or anything like that. But uh, what do you expect? Uh, Darlene, one of my favorites, and Bennington. So, uh, you know, see, I'm okay with it. Not not pumped, but uh, not not upset either. Um, this one we got Melkin, Contenemi. Ooh, and then a green Jack Eichel again. I don't I don't know uh, the levels of the rarity. I'll post that when I post the video. Um, then we got a sub zero. So this they've also mixed up. It looks uh, purple background. I don't know if that's um, a parallel or if it's just how the sub zeros are going to look this year. Uh, either way, pretty cool. Uh, Austin Matthews. I mean, um, he's great. So I can't complain with that. And Seth Jones. Uh, we got three packs left, still waiting for that auto. So it looks like we got a memorabilia card instead of the exquisite, which I'm okay with personally. Uh, it does look like there is a bigger card in this. I'm going to set that aside for now, because that could be uh, the last hit there. Uh, for this pack, we got Jonathan Taves, another Austin Matthews, <laughs> a green Rasmus Stalin. This is a very nice box for me with Sabres parallels. Uh, Ice Premier, number 999, Rhett Gardner. Um, I've gotten a lot of 1920 products. Uh, this is the first rookie I've gotten of him. Um, it's pretty nice. Came from North Dakota. Like those college guys. Uh, like that. Philip Forsberg there. Let's see. Uh, we'll do this pack before the last pack where I believe the auto is, or maybe it's an exquisite as well. Uh, we got Claude Giroux, uh, green uh, Jordan Bennington. Uh, another ice premiere. Uh, this one's Alexander Volkov. Uh, this one's number to 499, so the next tier. Um, pretty good. Not, not, uh, not too sure what his uh, potential is, but I know he's pretty good. 
uh, Carey Price, Anze Kopitar. So let's see what this autograph is. Uh, we got Tyler Sagan, Matthew Kachuk, Jacob Truba, and then Mantha Green. And let's see who it is. It swatches. Oh, Brock Besser, number to 99, autograph on the swatch. Uh, that's something you don't see a lot. Um, the autograph on the actual jersey. Usually it's like a sticker or something on the side. This is really nice. I'm a huge fan of this uh, style of signature swatches. Um, let's see. So this is game worn <clears throat> jersey swatch as well. So wow, I mean that's that's a really nice card. I like that a lot. Um, again, we'll kind of go through uh, the hits. I mean we have the Bronstrom Ice Premier, not numbered or anything like that, um, or game worn. Uh, and then we got other than the base cards, Mantha Green, which must be the most common parallel. Ice Premier, Rookie of Alexander Volkov, uh, Green Bennington, uh, Premier of Rhett Garner, Green Darlene, a Sub-Zero of Matthews, a Green Eichel, and an Orange Eric Stahl. Um, feel free to share your comments. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, Brock Besser fans out there. Uh, this one I would be willing to, to sell. Um, obviously the values, they came out today, so there's probably no value on it, but, uh, we'll, we'll be open to offers. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, check me out on other social medias. I'm pretty active on, uh, Instagram. Uh, so just, uh, you know, reach out and, uh, feel free to, to do so. I appreciate you tuning in. Cheers.